Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. It's officially on its way to New York City this morning. This for the first time and for the first time ever the tree comes from the state of Maryland. Take a look. The 79 foot 12 ton Norway spruce was donated by a family in Elkton. The uh, crews have been prepping it for transport by securing its branches. It's set to arrive at Rockefeller Center tomorrow. The tree is going to be wrapped in 50,000 multicolored energy efficient lights. It'll also be crowned with Swarovski Crystal Star. The lighting of that tree ceremony is Wednesday, December 1st. Pretty cool. Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. That sounds remarkably similar to the uh, Stahl family Christmas tree that will be going up here. Usually you do that right, right after the day after Thanksgiving, Jeff, right? It's slightly smaller than our tree. But sure. you, you have the Sforsky crystal oh, topper. Oh, yeah. 50, it's 50, wonderful. 50,000 lights. Oh, gosh. See Planes the energy try to bill. land in his yard. It's so bright, that tree. <laughs> it is a beautiful start to the day. You've got this gorgeous view from the Indian Wells Golf Resort. Skies are nice and clear and will remain so through the weekend. A ridge of high pressure remains fairly dominant across the western U.S., so skies are clear all the way up to get to uh, the Pacific Northwest. A little bit of rain, some snow farther north. They're getting some snow in the ski destinations up in Canada. They're excited about that. You can see that front, but again, we're dominated by this ridge of high pressure, keeping those offshore winds flowing, and that is allowing us to warm up a good bit. The temperatures well, a little bit warmer than we would expect at this hour. We're at 79 in Palm Springs, 74 in La Quinta, 73 in Indio. The number's looking good. It's very comfortable out there. No sweater needed today. And we're going to warm up nicely through the afternoon for the next several days. And today, probably the last of the real strong offshore winds. And for us, that's been winds up around the 15, max down around 20 mile per hour, uh, per hour range uh, north of the freeway. On the valley floor, we have been watching winds at the 10 to 15 mile per hour mark. Not terribly gusty. It gets a little windier as you move over closer to the coast. And that's why that wind advisory is still in effect until 2 o'clock this afternoon. You can see the areas that it covers. And the primary area that uh, would be of concern is as you move out of Los, Los Angeles along the 5. If you're thinking about taking your RV that route, probably wait until tomorrow when the winds back off a little more significantly. We're not seeing a lot in the way of very gusty conditions, but uh, this afternoon we could still see those winds popping up a little bit. 93 is our target high this afternoon. It's about where we were yesterday. We hit 92. So we're going to be in that range and not just today, really into the weekend, maybe a degree or two cooler. But uh, the map really showcases that cold air staying well to our north certainly through Saturday and Sunday. By Monday, we might just start to see just a little bit more of a cool air incursion. The numbers don't reflect that. We don't really cool off until Tuesday and then more significantly on Wednesday and Thursday when our daytime highs drop down into the 70s and 80s. So we do have some 70s on the map as we head into Thursday and Friday of next week. All right, we'll wrap it up after the break here on News Channel 3. You're watching the Desert's News Leader.